Hello everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel Car World with Shahid, I hope you guys are well, may God bless you more, please share my video with your friends and family members which will help me for supporting. So let's start today information the McLaren brand is home to a portion of the most crazy supercars to at any point exist from V12 speed begins like the 765 LT to multi-million doll collectibles like the McLaren P1 McLaren stays one of the most special and positive vehicle brands out there even their outside plan is enough to make any vehicle nerd slobber at simply the actual side of it yet with all the great angles that McLaren brings to their models there is one McLaren that remains solitary from the pack as very perhaps the most terrible of the gathering a vehicle that for better for more terrible appears to me like McLaren is attempting a smidgen as well hard enter the McLaren Archer the McLaren Archer first presented last year was expected to be a passage level vehicle for anybody scaling the positions in the world the English brand needed a vehicle that had comparative presentation to their better quality models and an alluring outside look that would turn into Undefined for anybody who didn't know vehicles they felt in a tight and insane economy that making a substantially more reasonable vehicle would draw on new clients and carry new individuals to turn into long-lasting McLaren drivers anyway notwithstanding the way that it looks on the outside McLaren wretchedly bombed on making a passage-level vehicle that purchasers would really need to purchase beyond the model being McLaren's most memorable endeavor furthermore. I say that daintily at making a crossover supercar other normal issues that McLaren have are as yet present in the McLaren era probably the most popular issues including horrible guiding a tight and awkward inside if you're above 5 apostrophe 8 consistent brake issues furthermore. An unconventional body plan now truly a great deal of these issues are present in other supercars across numerous various brands so I'm not going to hold it a lot against the Archer however what else might actually be so awful for me to know that the McLaren Ura just sucks with regards to execution no one will be stunned that the Archer is both fast and strong holding a twin Super V6 motor the Archer makes 670 drive and 530 feet pounds of force what's more has a 0 to 60 of simply 2.6 seconds furthermore, a maximum velocity of 200 miles per hour the vehicle too has an additional electric engine that gives you a futile 10 me of electric battery furthermore. Yes since the McLaren Archer is intended to be a passage level vehicle it would check out that the speed and power would be cut back a little however in the event that you contrast it with different vehicles from various brands it truly doesn't make sense why you would go with the Euro the best correlation is McLaren's more seasoned sibling Ferrari likewise has a crossover vehicle in a similar cost range as the Archer called the Ferrari 296 the 296 has a similar V6 twin supermotor in any case rather delivers 817 torque with a 0 to 60 of 2.4 seconds and creating 550 pounds feet of force and, surprisingly, more the guiding on the Ferrari 296's light equips better making the general driving experience multiple times better even BMW and Porsche have models with comparable speed numbers as the Archer yet cost a third of the cost different issues that lie with the McLaren Archer that don't include the in general driving experience are inside the vehicle the inside of the Archer is both polished and sumptuous McLaren is known for having dazzling insides and there is no drop off while taking a gander at the Archer anyway quite possibly of the greatest issue is the absence of perceivability and immense visually impaired detects that make the all-around unpleasant driving experience that much more terrible due to its smooth and low to the ground plan in addition to the fact that you must be careful of potholes and hindrances however by and large driving will be substantially more troublesome in the Archer and for those of you who believe I'm simply loathing on the Archer and McLaren generally how about we utilize the 765 LT as an illustration the 765 LT allowed has a position of safety plan and poor directing yet the vulnerable sides aren't almost as awful and the inside of the vehicle is a lot bigger and, surprisingly, 
However the cost of the 765 LT is in a real sense crazy it holds a higher maximum velocity and sub models even have 1000 torque abilities it's additionally viewed as one of the quickest track vehicles at any point created so actually there's no examination the fundamental issue with the McLaren you is the reason would you get it and the event that there's so many other choices McLaren's primary attractions are crazy degrees of force and outlandish and beyond preposterous outside plan and Mr. simply restrains everything down for the Archer a cost of $240,000 places it in the value scope of vehicles like the Ferrari 296 Porsche GT3 RS also. Different models that have pinnacle driving encounters and none of the drawbacks that the Euro has generally speaking the main pressing concern is what you and I love about McLaren vehicles you're simply not getting it with the 2024 McLaren Euro gratitude for watching my video forever be cheerful.